As Canadians continue to feel the pinch of trying to buy a home, a new report is showing it's getting more difficult to do so. The report by ratehub.ca shows the income needed in 10 of Canada's major cities to afford the average home has increased once again. Our Sean Preville joins us now to break down what that report found and what may be needed to combat this. All right, so Sean, I don't think this is much of a surprise to many of us, but tell us more about what this report says for Canadians wanting to get into home ownership. Well, thanks, Miranda, for having me. This report is quite interesting because obviously many of us are trying to get into the housing market. Many Canadians want to finally break that barrier and have a home they can call uh, their, their own. And this report actually showed that despite housing kind of stabilizing, at the same time, the amount that Canadians need in order to get into the housing market has increased across the board. You have places like Toronto where a Canadian is going to need an income of about $235,000, in Vancouver $244,000, and even though it might not seem like that much, in Winnipeg it's still $80,000 up $2,000 from just June. A lot of these numbers show that the increase between June and July have ranged from $2,000 to almost $9,000 increase in what a Canadian is going to have to earn in order to purchase that home. And much of this comes from a variety of factors, uh, mortgage rates, housing prices, as well as the mortgage stress test. And that in turn is creating more difficulty for Canadians to be able to qualify to buy that home. James Laird, the co-CEO with RateHub.ca, said those factors are creating a more difficult market for people to be able to get into the housing market. And here's what Laird had to say. Home values are sort of going sideways, but interest rates continue to rise so much that qualifying for that average home, financing that average home is becoming increasingly difficult and it is the most difficult it's ever been. Yeah, so as you can tell, Laird is pretty much saying that it's a difficult market and it could be possibly the most difficult market that many Canadians are facing. All right, and Sean, of course, housing has been such a big topic as of late. You know, inventory shortage, people trying to get into the housing market. Often one of the solutions given, though, is to just build more homes. Now, could this be a solution even with the needed income to buy one on the rise? Yes, so I spoke with Laird about this and asked that very question because given what the report is showing, why would we need more homes if people can't even afford the homes that already exist? And he said that part of the reason why we need to build homes is that puts an ease in terms of the supply allowed and in turn could maybe even drop some of those prices. Now we still need to see changes in terms of interest rates, the mortgage stress test, but by having more homes, it in turn can create just a less pressure on the housing market. And the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation more or less echoed that same statement. Uh, they said that there is a lot of different policies needed. We need changes in terms of having more rental housing available until more homes are built. But they did say that there is still a lot needed from governments in order for Canadians to finally be able to break into that market. And here's what the CMHC argues is needed from governments of all levels. So it's going to vary from city to city, but, but certainly we, we need a suite of policies and a lot of action to try and improve affordability. So as you can tell, it's it's kind of a, a mixed bag in terms of what we need, but at the same time, governments are going to have to work together in order to get that according to the CMHC. All right, and Sean, I understand you also looked into other solutions that are being considered by some provinces. So what more can you tell us about those? Yes, so obviously we're seeing a lot of difficulty in the housing market and provinces, territories and the federal government as well as even municipalities are looking at different options so that they can get people into homes. And one of those possible options is actually being seen in Nova Scotia right now where they have extended an agreement with an online home sharing platform called HappyPad where people who may have empty rooms can rent them out to people who are looking for affordable places to stay and in speaking with both ministers in Nova Scotia as well as the CMHC 
the idea is really about finding other options, at least in the interim until more homes are built, so that people can have a place to stay while they wait for that opportunity in order to buy that home. And uh, one person at the CMHC, Leah Kogan, an analyst there, said that in order to get there, we're going to need to see a buy-in from all levels of government in order for Canadians to finally see a bit of easing to that crunch. All right, Sean, a bit of a depressing report, but it's good that there are solutions being floated about. We appreciate your time today. Thanks, Miranda. That is our Sean Preble reporting from the Toronto Newsroom.